after 10 years of incredible performance and dependability, let me introduce the new M2.0. Hi, I'm Julie Golub, the captain of Team Smith & Wesson. As a former soldier, MP, and now as a professional competition shooter, I'm very excited about this next generation of the M&P pistol. A decade of feedback from military, law enforcement, competition, testing, and you, the everyday user, has gone into the making of this pistol. There's a lot you'll recognize and appreciate from the original. First, let's start with the trigger guard. We've kept the geometry the same so that you'll have compatibility with many M&P holsters. We've also kept the sight dovetail cuts the same so you can use your favorite sights. Original magazines are interchangeable and compatible with both newer and older models. And of course, the ergonomic design and reliability you've come to expect from the M&P is in this model as well. The new M2.0 has evolved. We've added front slide serrations and an aggressive grip texture throughout the entire grip. We've also added a longer internal slide guide rail to allow better performance by both the 2.0 and you. An ambidextrous slide stop plus the ambi mag release button makes it easy for both right-handed and left-handed shooters to access critical controls. On the original M&P, we set the standard with interchangeable back straps. We've added a fourth, allowing for 90% of shooter hand sizes to be accommodated by this new grip. You'll have your choice between small, medium, medium large, and large, so that you can get that perfect feel and trigger reach so you can shoot your best. The 2.0 also features a newly designed trigger. It's crisp, lighter, and tighter with that highly desired audible and firm reset. It also features an internal sear deactivation lever, which allows you to take the gun apart without pulling the trigger. Available in a variety of models, the M2.0 comes in 9 and 40, 4 and a quarter or 5 inch models, black or flat dark earth, with or without a thumb safety. Experience the next evolution of the M&P, the M2.0. Learn more at smith-wesson.com. Hey everyone, I'm John Rasmussen with HK Shooting. If you're anything like me, when you go to the range to practice with your handgun, your goals are probably pretty simple. I'm trying to become a faster and more accurate shooter. It takes work, practice, and training to become a better shooter. And while you can't buy skill or ability, there are some tools and accessories that can make the path to becoming a better shooter a little easier. The sights on a handgun are one of the most commonly upgraded parts, and for good reason. They have a direct impact on the shooter's ability to shoot quickly and accurately. One huge leap forward in sight technology that has occurred relatively recently is the advent of the slide-mounted, miniaturized red dot sight. Having a dot projected on a screen that the shooter looks through and not at helps alleviate some of the issues found with traditional iron sights. First, it encourages the shooter to focus on the target or the threat where their focus is probably going to be anyway instead of the sight. And second, for those of us with aging eyes, it's oftentimes easier to focus on something that's distant and downrange rather than something near like your front sight. By eliminating the need to line up the front sight, the rear sight, and the target, the sighting process is simplified and faster. Likewise, most shooters find that having a singular aiming point, the dot, tends to be more precise than traditional iron sights. Up until now, if you wanted a red dot sight mounted on your favorite HK handgun, it probably entailed mailing the slide out to get machined to accept the red dot sight. Well, no longer. I'm excited to share with you today that starting in 2020, all new VP9s will be optic capable. This new VP9 was designed with the goal of securely mounting as many different red dot sights as possible while keeping the overall cost of the firearm low by eliminating unnecessary and unused accessories. The pistol will be shipped with what is essentially a filler plate, and if the user never chooses to use a red dot optic, then no modifications are necessary. But if the user does buy an optic or has an optic already, all they have to do is contact the HK web shop, let them know what sight model they have, and for a small cost, the proper adapter plate will be shipped to them. While the optics cut is the big news on this new pistol, there's more to this new model than just the ability to accept a red dot sight. The new VP9 and all VP9s after will come with an upgraded magazine. HK engineers sprinkled their magic dust on the magazines and were able to modify the followers to increase the capacity to 17 rounds without increasing the overall length of the magazine. The pistol also gets upgraded high contrast metal sights. Taking recommendations from shooters, the sights now incorporate a high visibility front sight paired with a plain black rear sight. Outside of these upgrades, the stellar features of the VP9 have remained unchanged. With better sights, higher capacity standard magazines, and the ability to mount a red dot optic, the new for 2020 VP9 is ready for any challenge. So head on down to your local sporting goods store and try one out. I'm Kevin Lehart with Crimson Trace. 
In this video, I'm going to demonstrate installation and operation procedures for the LG443 and LG443G Green Laser Guard, designed to fit both the Glock 42 and 43. The LG443 series mounts to your pistol's trigger guard and is activated using Crimson Trace's patented instinctive activation, which allows the user to activate the laser when holding the pistol in a natural firing grip. As with all laser guard models, the LG443 and LG443G are completely user installed and are adjustable for both windage and elevation. Within the Crimson Trace factory packaging, you'll find the following items. The laser guard, the laser sight owner's handbook, warranty registration card, installation handbook, and an accessory kit that includes attachment screws, adjustment wrenches, lens cleaning swabs, laser warning labels, and one battery. To install the laser guard, begin by separating the two halves. Insert the battery into the right side of the laser guard with the flat or positive side facing in the direction as specified in the installation handbook. It will seat firmly into place. Once the battery is installed, we'll now install the right side of the laser guard onto the trigger guard. Slide the right side onto the trigger guard and snap into place. Ensure that the activation button hooks around to the left side of the trigger guard and rests onto the front strap. We will now install the left panel by inserting this panel at an angle into the locking groove located near the rear base of the trigger guard. Apply pressure to both sides until they join together. To complete the installation, insert the provided attachment screws into the left panel and tighten using the included hex wrench until no gap is visible between the two halves. To activate the laser guard, simply hold the firearm in a normal firing grip. When the front activation button is engaged, the laser will turn on. When disengaged, it will turn off. This activation procedure is known as Crimson Trace's instinctive activation, allowing the laser to be turned on with a normal grip on the firearm. Confirm that the laser and iron sights are in alignment. The laser dot should rest on top of the front sight post with the correct sight picture. If needed, Windage and elevation adjustments can be made to the laser using the included hex wrench. Hi everyone, John Nichols here with Sig Sauer. I'm a product manager with the Electro Optics Division and I'm here to talk to you today about the new Romeo 1 Pro reflex sight. Uh, I have it here on a uh, X5 Legion as you can see and this is the new Romeo 1 Pro. This is a 3 MOA model in black. It also comes in FDE in a uh, 6 MOA variant. And as you can see here, this is everything that comes in the box. You'll get the uh, steel protective shroud that is currently an option with the Romeo 1. And you'll also get a full length sight cover uh, for the Romeo 1 Pro. So this actually goes over the optic and the shroud. And if you have a full rear sight, covers everything altogether. So that's new as well. I'm going to talk about some of the features that make the Romeo 1 Pro different from our standard Romeo 1. As you'll see, the Romeo 1 Pro is actually slightly longer than the original Romeo 1. So the footprint of the new Romeo 1 Pro is meant to fit all of the new slide cuts that we're calling the Pro slide cut on the new guns. So that is a slightly longer slide cut, which is why the optic is longer. It also has slightly larger mounting holes to accept the M4 screw that threads into the optics mounting interface. So the Romeo 1 is still available. It's still available for all the guys and gals out there that have original legacy guns, legacy pistols with the Romeo 1 cut. The Romeo 1 Pro is now available for all of the newer guns with the newer slide cut. It also has a new emitter inside. It's a point source emitter. So that is good for uh, 12 brightness settings, 20,000 hours of battery life, and it has a much brighter, crisp red dot in it. Still the same great features as the Romeo 1, so a top-loading battery your brightness control buttons on the side, 
and uh, great clear glass and amazing performance. So that's the Romeo One Pro, uh, shipping now and uh, available in 3 MOA and 6 MOA in black and 6 MOA in flat dark earth and comes with everything you see here in the box. For more information about our electro optics and all of our products, you can visit sigsour.com and also check us out on our YouTube page. Hey, I'm Phil Strader with Sig Sour, and we've got a new product here that I'm extremely excited about. And if you carry concealed or ever consider carrying concealed in the future, you're going to be excited about it too. What is this new product, you ask? Well, it's a pistol we developed that you can carry all day, every day, 365 days a year. It's called the P365. So we here at Sig Sour understand that when you carry a concealed pistol, it's a balancing act. Do you go big with a lot of ammo and give up your concealability? Or do you go really, really small and gain concealability and lose some of that capacity? What if you could have both? That's where this gun comes in. So I know what you're thinking. How do we get ultra concealability in a high capacity package? Well, let's take a quick look here. We've got a 3.1 inch 9 millimeter barrel and it's rated for plus P ammunition. We've got a nitron stainless steel slide. The grip module is fully textured polymer grip module and it's striker fired, which is great. This has got the cleanest, crisp trigger you'll ever feel in a striker fired gun. It actually is amazing to shoot. More importantly are the sights. It comes right out of the box with Sig Light night sights right out of the box. You got it. You don't have to go out and buy extra sights if you want to carry in low light. It comes ready for you. We also have a proprietary rail on this pistol that our optics team is working on a light and or laser option for so you could install that on the pistol and have the ultimate carry package. So this is where the magic is right here. We've got a one inch wide gun which is industry standard on this size pistol but instead of a single stack six or seven round mag we were able to stuff a double stack 10 round magazine in this gun. That's right this little pistol has 11 round capacity. 11 rounds seriously. Not only that, it comes with two 10 round magazines, a extended version like what's on the gun, or you can put in your flush fit magazine for ultra concealability. All this in one box ready for you to carry all day, every day. So let's summarize. You've got more concealability, more capacity, and more capability and more features all in one gun. The P365, bring more every day. If you want to learn more about the P365 or other SIG products, visit our website at SIGSour.com. And don't forget to click on our YouTube channel for all of our latest videos. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something. We also have an optional 12 round extended magazine if you want to buy some extra capacity. Add about a half an inch to the overall height of your pistol and you've got 13 rounds total capacity in a super small carry package. 13 rounds!